Uh, it's easier to show you on my old light meter. This is from photography school. This meter is 23 years old and still going strong. It's my original meter from photography school, an old Minolta 4F. It's my current uh, new one that I've been using for quite some time, the Sikonic. Now, uh, I have heard from a boy on the internet uh, who thinks that this is throwback technology. Uh, something akin to like uh, old time flash bulbs. Uh, <laughs> or, or, uh, 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 let's uh, let's correct that here. Um, right now, I have a main light that is really close. Now I can do this uh, with a uh, a speed light or a studio strobe. But right now, I'm going to show you with ambient lighting. And I have another light over here that's further away. Obviously, since it's further away, it's going to be less powerful. Now, I want to calculate flash ratios. Why is that important? Um, well, if you have more than one speed light, or if you have a studio strobe, a main light, then you have a fill light, then you have a background light, I want to calculate my lighting ratios. And uh, you see, your camera can't do any of this, so I am going to take a meter reading right now. And I've got uh, f8 and 6 tenths at 45th of a second at ISO 1600. So now that would be my main light. Now I'm just measuring ambient right now, but you can duplicate the exact same thing with a speed light or a studio strobe that I'm doing with ambient. So now I turned on my further, uh, my distant light, and I'm going to turn off my main light. And so now I'm going to replicate. Um, my fill light, or it could be a hair light, and uh, I'm going to take, hit my average button, and then I'm going to take, okay, now I'm taking a reading off my secondary light, and I have an EV difference of 1.5. Okay, what does that tell me? I've got a lighting ratio of 1.5 EV difference. Okay. I've almost got um, 2 EV, but I'm at a ratio of 3 to 1. Now, uh, let me see. None of this your camera can do. Your camera can't do any of this. Okay. Relative to my first meter reading, my main light here, which could be ambient light, or it could be a studio strobe, or speed light, relative to my fill light, or my hair light, or my background light, I have... A difference of 1.6 EV at the exact same ISO and shutter speed, which gives me a lighting ratio of right at 3 to 1. And uh, I would uh, actually, on my fill light, I'd want a lighting ratio of 4 to 1 uh, based upon the composition that I want to give. I'm uh, at a two stop spread between my main and my fill if that's my choice. So all I have to do is dial down the power. Dial up the power over here on, uh, excuse me, dial down the power over on my fill, or dial up the power on my main light, but not to the point where I blow my speculars or I have to adjust the uh, ISO and or shutter speed. And your camera can't do any of this, so the notion that this is a uh, throwback technology is uh, interesting. Um, because I would like the person that made that claim to show me how he can use his camera to calculate lighting ratios. Um, yeah, you, you, you can't get there from here. It is not possible to connect dot A to dot B using any DSLR camera. You have to have one of these, y'all. You see, this is a 24-year-old light meter. This is my light meter from photography school back from 1991. And uh, this old meter can do more then a Nikon D5, D500, Sony A7, your, none of those cameras can do any of this stuff. You see, since this is important, lighting ratios are important when you're layering light, fill light, main light, background light, hair light. Your camera can't do any of that. So the notion that this is a throwback technology makes me go... Hmm, I'm thinking that guy does not know what he's uh, talking about. Uh, well, I don't think I know for certain. Thank you for watching. Catch you later.